Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope, as always, you're having an amazing, abundant, prosperity-filled week. So today, I was super inspired. A friend of mine showed me um, a talk on YouTube that um, Will Smith had given about fear and how everything in life is, all the best things in life, actually, are on the other side of your fear. So he talked about how uh, there was a time he'd gone um, skydiving. So the night before, he was like, you know, he was all like, you know, his friends are like, oh, we're going to go skydiving. And he's like, yeah, 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 you know, high-fiving everybody. But then during that night, he was just gripped by terror at the thought of jumping out of a plane. He was so afraid. And that, you know, when he eventually got on the plane, he was just trying to, you know, style it out and still act normal, but he was so terrified. And that, you know, eventually when the instructor counted one, he said, well, jump on the count of three. And he counted one, and then they jumped on two, because apparently people grip onto the side of the plane at three. And how, you know, when he was um, floating in the air and falling to the earth, it was the most blissful feeling he'd ever had. Um, you guys can check it out. I think if you Google um, or YouTube Will Smith and uh, Face Your Fears, it should come up. So that really inspired me and got me thinking, because I can really relate with this idea of, you know, wanting something but being afraid and i think oftentimes you know um you know our insecurities can be crippling whether we think oh um this thing that i want to do do i have the skills to do it or am i good enough or what will, will people think of me you know and i think also a lot of the time other people may superimpose their fears onto us you know so you might go to somebody and say oh i would like to do this thing and the person you know may not be so encouraging, may say, oh, do you really think it's a good idea? Do you think it's the right time? But um, in my opinion, you know, I don't think, you know how they say there's never a right time. I think the time is always now. Um, and one of the examples of this is my whole YouTube journey. I've spoken about it before. Um, I've wanted to do YouTube for about three years, literally. And every time I would think about, okay, doing YouTube. And you know, it's odd because I'm already, a, I'm a TV presenter, so, so it's not that I'm camera shy or anything like that. Um, I would always be gripped by this, this like, I guess you can call it self-doubt, where I'd be like, oh, YouTube, I don't know if it's for me. I don't know if I'd be able to just sit down and because, you know, it's really talking about your own experiences and kind of opening up. And that's, I, I, you know, that's something I was actually a bit terrified about. So, you know, um, so there can be anything in your life that's, you know, a, a Goliath that you just think, I, I don't want to face this thing or I'll face this thing tomorrow or I'll face this thing, you know, when my, I don't know, when, my, when I'm married, when my kids have grown up. Uh, when I've saved enough for retirement. But I think the point is that um, if you do that, you're really just um, deferring your dreams because as they say, nobody knows tomorrow, you know? Nobody knows tomorrow. So the, uh, so the best thing to do is just to try to face your fears today. So I like to think of strategies because I know that um, it's easy for someone to just come and say, eh, just face your fears, you know? <laughs> I've had that before and it's like, oh, thank you. How helpful of you to tell me to just face my fears, you know? It's not that easy. So I think one way, you know, we can go about facing our fears is to go and talk to somebody maybe who doesn't know us, who's not a fan member or a friend, but just somebody who is outside of our circle. Um, and that can be a trained professional, maybe like a a therapist if not like a pastor and if not just somebody um an older wiser person who we can sit down with and just you know say well, I'm, i want to do this or i'm afraid of this um because oftentimes i feel like when we just keep things in our head that is where they can do the most damage because when something is just in your mind you're replaying it over and over again and you know you know how they say um is it a secret shared is a secret halved so once you put it out there you let some air and light you know get into your fears oftentimes you know it's like that's it's like that's the invisible man in the dark that you're afraid of when you're younger once you know daylight comes it's extinguished and there's no more fears so that's one of the ways you know we can face our fears another way we can actually conquer our fears and look them in the face is just to take baby steps you know you might be in uh, full-time employment and think, okay, I want to maybe start my own business, but it's something that's always kind of been really challenging and really scary. So instead of just taking the plunge and, you know, quitting your full-time job that provides you with a steady income and doing business, you can just do it on the side. Maybe just allocate your weekends to your business so you know as soon as it's Friday, okay, you know, business starts. And um, so that way, at least you're 
taking steps towards achieving your goals. So another way you can face your fears is via affirmations. Now, this is something that's worked really, really, really well for me. So how it works is that you have um, a list of positive affirmations. So I am successful. I am strong. I am interesting. I am wealthy. I am courageous. I am whatever it is that maybe you're not, but that you want to be, because there is actually science behind this that proves that the more you um, you know, it's, it's, it's actually tricking your brain into not being fearful because the more you repeat these affirmations, you can do it every morning and every evening. You can even have them. Um, I've seen friends of mine who write them on their bathroom mirror in lipstick. So if you're a girly girl, you can do that or just on note cards and you can stick them around your bathroom or your bedroom or your office or wherever. And every time, you know, you see the um, affirmations, you repeat them you know, once or twice, and doing that daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, eventually you start to feel that way and that translates into change in your life and, you know, eventually you start to see powerful and lasting change in your life. So affirmations are huge and they're another way you can grab your fears by the horns and just take control. So, you know, those are, you know, my tips for facing your fears, which I've put in practice and which I've actually really helped me of course prayer is prayer is the master key so obviously prayer is number one but once you've prayed then you know as they say god helps those who help themselves so you also have to you know do things you know take action steps um to ensure that you're able to face your fears and live, live your best most abundant life and you know the final thing i actually want to say is that whether you face your fears and you're successful or you face your fears and you know you're unsuccessful ultimately it doesn't really matter. You know, the sun will always shine in the morning. Tomorrow is always going to be another day and another opportunity. So, um, and you know, it reminds me of something that Denzel Washington said. I recently watched, I watch all these YouTube talks thanks to this friend of mine. Anyway, and he talked um, about, I think he was, he was giving an address at a university and he talked about um, how he'd failed so many times in his life, but how he'd, he'd always had that you know belief in himself and how um, if you're going to fail it's totally okay um, we all fail but to fail forward and I thought oh that's so like even that term fail forward I'd never heard it before so it really resonated with me and I thought you know amazing and another one I've heard is to uh, fail fast so even if you're going to fail and eh, fail that's it you failed you continue you know it's not the end of the world and oftentimes you know you know how they say our biggest lessons come from our uh, biggest failures you know there's so many you know um, figures throughout history um, uh, Albert Einstein who you know took him countless times to um, you know to get his findings um, Steve Jobs who was sacked from Apple but then was later reinstated um, there's so 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 many people who failed and who have come out the other side stronger and I think another thing I've noticed about life is that oftentimes when you see somebody who's a success people just think oh that person is so lucky but you know they don't see because unless the person actually sits down with you and says these were my struggles, or uh, this is what I had to go through. You never know. Success, I would say success is sexy, yeah? It is, it's sexy. You see someone who's successful, who's doing well, who looks good, and you just think, oh, that person is blessed, that person is favored, that person is, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying that they're not, clearly they are, but you don't know their journey. You don't know what obstacles they've had to overcome. You don't know what experiences that, you don't know what battle scars that they're carrying. You just see their shine. And everybody wants that shine and um yeah and it's not it's i mean it's not it, I'm, for, for i always say this thing for 98 percent of people it's not been smooth sailing you know there's always they're, they're life lessons um and life is a journey so all we can do is just walk our own path as gracefully as we can but with as much strength and courage as we can and also you know never give up we, we we must face those fears we must face those fears because if we don't we just end up procrastinating and as they say procrastination is a thief of time and nobody wants to wake up when they're like you know much older maybe 60 70 and think oh wow i i had the opportunities or i could have if i'd just been a bit bolder i would have achieved you know or i'd have at least tried to achieve uh, most of my life 
goal. So that's it for today's vlog. I've talked more than I, I actually was like, oh, I'm impressed with myself. I talked more than I thought I was going to. But um, yeah, no, this topic is something that I find, you know, really, really, really fascinating. So I want you guys to hit me up and, you know, talk to me about times where you've, you know, you faced your fears. There's been something, something that's really been an obstacle and you know you faced it and you're able to um come out the other side so please hit me up on any of my social media handles or you know via email as well i would love to hear from you i'll do my best to reply to everybody and um, i'll see you next time all right goodbye